Hi everyone and welcome to my channel. Today, I'm going to take you on a tour of the 7 best places to visit in Italy, one of the most beautiful and diverse countries in the world. Whether you're looking for history, culture, art, nature, or food, Italy has something for everyone. So, buckle up and get ready for an amazing adventure. The first place on our list is Rome, the Eternal City. Rome is a treasure trove of history, culture, and art. You can admire the ancient monuments like the Colosseum, where gladiators fought for their lives. The Pantheon, where you can see the largest unreinforced concrete dome in the world. And the Trevi Fountain, where you can make a wish and throw a coin. You can also visit the Vatican Museums and the Sistine Chapel where you can marvel at the masterpiece of Michelangelo's frescoes. And of course, you can enjoy the lively atmosphere of the piazzas and the neighborhoods where you can taste the delicious pizza, pasta, and gelato. Rome is a city that never sleeps and you need at least four days to see its highlights. The second place on our list is Florence, the Cradle of the Renaissance. Florence is a must-see for art lovers. You can marvel at the masterpiece of Michelangelo's David, the symbol of human perfection. Climb the Duomo, the iconic dome that dominates the skyline. Tour the Uffizi Gallery, the home of the greatest collection of Italian paintings and stroll across the Ponte Vecchio, the oldest and most charming bridge in the city. Florence is also a great base to explore the scenic Tuscan countryside with its charming hill towns, vineyards, and olive groves. Did you know that Florence is also the birthplace of gelato? You need at least two days to explore this magnificent city. The third place on our list is Venice, the city of canals. Venice is a romantic and enchanting destination. You can take a gondola ride along the Grand Canal, the main waterway that connects the city. Visit the stunning St. Mark's Basilica and the Doge's Palace, the symbols of the glory and power of the Venetian Republic and wander through the narrow streets and bridges where you can discover hidden gems and secrets. Venice is also known for its carnival, its glassmaking, and its seafood. Did you know that Venice is actually made up of 118 islands linked by more than 400 bridges? You need at least two days to experience this unique city. The fourth place on our list is Cinque Terre, a UNESCO World Heritage Site. Cinque Terre is a collection of five colorful villages perched on the cliffs of the Ligurian coast. You can hike the trails that connect the villages. Enjoy the spectacular views of the sea and the mountains. And sample the local specialties like pesto, focaccia, and wine. Cinque Terre is a place where time stands still and you can immerse yourself in the authentic and simple lifestyle of the locals. Did you know that Cinque Terre means five lands in Italian? You need at least two days to visit this paradise. The fifth place on our list is Milan, the fashion and design capital of Italy. Milan is a modern and cosmopolitan city. You can admire the Gothic splendor of the Duomo, the largest and most elaborate cathedral in Italy. See Leonardo da Vinci's Last Supper, one of the most famous and mysterious paintings in the world. Shop at the Galleria Vittorio Emanuele II, the oldest and most elegant shopping mall in the world, and explore the trendy neighborhoods and nightlife. 
Milan is also a gateway to the beautiful Lake Como where you can relax and enjoy the scenery. Did you know that Milan is also the home of the Opera House La Scala where many famous composers and singers performed? You need at least two days to see this dynamic city. The sixth place on our list is Naples, the soul of Italy. Naples is a vibrant and chaotic place. You can experience the authentic Neapolitan culture, visit the impressive Castel dell'Ovo and the Royal Palace, and discover the rich archaeological heritage of Pompeii and Herculaneum, the ancient cities that were buried by the eruption of Mount Vesuvius. Naples is also the home of pizza, so don't miss the chance to taste the original margarita, named after the queen who visited the city in 1889. Did you know that Naples is also the birthplace of the Christmas crib, or precip, a tradition that dates back to the 13th century? You need at least two days to visit this fascinating city. The seventh and final place on our list is Sicily, the largest island in the Mediterranean. Sicily is a diverse and fascinating region. You can explore the ancient ruins of Agrigento and Syracuse, admire the Baroque architecture of Nodo and Ragusa, climb the Mount Etna volcano, the highest and most active in Europe, and enjoy the sandy beaches and the crystal clear water. Sicily is also famous for its cuisine, especially its pastries, cheese, and wine. Did you know that Sicily was once ruled by the Greeks, the Romans, the Arabs, the Normans, and the Spanish, among others? You need at least a week to see this amazing island. And that's it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it and learned something new. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more travel tips and inspiration. Also, let me know in the comments which place in Italy you would like to visit the most. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Ciao!